And welcome everyone to a Missouri Valley Conference chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by new head coach at Illinois State, Ryan Peden. Uh, Ryan, congratulations. Uh, this is a little unique because it happened so fast. You're an assistant at Ohio State. You guys are obviously still playing. Uh, Illinois State is done uh, after the after Arch Madness. But let's let's get at the beginning here. How did this all transpire so quickly? Well, um, you know. I, I had talked to my agent uh, at, at, at one point in time and sort of right around that time, I got a call from a, uh, a search firm that uh, and asked, you know, my interest level, would I be interested in the job? And I said, absolutely. Yes. Um, and um, from there it, it progressed fairly quickly. Uh, we had a, had a meeting. Um, we had continued talking on the phone, had another meeting and, and, um, uh, you know, it was it was it was done really quick. So um, I'm I'm uh, really excited about it. Obviously, Andy and and uh, I think the the people here are, are what drew me in as much as anything. I think it's a great job. Uh, I think it's one of the best jobs in our conference without a doubt. Um, and I think we have a great potential to, you know, to take it to a, another level. So um, it's it's a it's, it's a great time to be here and really excited about the opportunity. So that's why it's a good job. Why are you a good fit? Well, I think, you know, I, all along, Andy, my, in my mind, what I always evaluate is I was pursuing, you know, I didn't pursue a lot of jobs, but in, in, in moments when I did pursue jobs, I would always ask myself, is this a place I feel like I can recruit and attract the kinds of guys that I want to build my program with? The reality is not all schools, I, I could do that. Um, I might have to modify the way I would really want to do it. And um, I thought I would be able to hear uh, based on what I knew from afar. Uh, I've been here uh, about 14 years ago, played here in 2007. And I know what I thought of it, sort of known uh, through a couple other people that have worked here, what their thoughts were on the job. And, and then I dove in and you know, what I found is how I want to build a, a program, I can attract those types of players here at a high level, I think. And uh, we've got a lot of work and hard work and, and uh, you know, days, long days here ahead of us. But um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that challenge. Obviously, you've got great roots in the Midwest. Uh, I've had good success in the Midwest as an assistant. Uh, what is it about um, really the cradle there? in you know in, in illinois and obviously the valley at large where you find it to be obviously attractive for recruits for transfers whether they are four-year guys grads jc high school kids coming through what what is it that makes it such a, a you know a fertile area well i, I think num number one uh outside of just what i would mention to you about our university is number one the location um we're within 200 miles of Indianapolis, Chicago, St. Louis, and Milwaukee. Um, that, those are all very fertile recruiting hotbeds. Um, this state is known for having tremendous high school coaches and high school players. Um, all the Midwest is really, and those are areas that I've recruited over time and are very, I'm very familiar with those areas. So um, that coupled with the fact that um, I, this is a very good academic school. Um, we have elite facilities. We have an unbelievable arena. Um, the history and tradition that's here, uh, Doug Collins and talking to him, just how passionate he was, um, not only about the university, but about uh, this program and then the community as well and how much they want to support and, um, you know, how, how eager they are to have uh, championship level basketball here. So uh, all of those things kind of contributed in, and I would say, would, would contribute to this being a really attractive destination for not only high school recruits, but, uh, you know, transfers as well. So the league is changing. Uh, Loyola Chicago off to the A-10, and then the Valley pulled off a coup by getting the two best teams in the Ohio Valley with Murray State and Belmont. We've seen their success, uh, which continues this season. Uh, Illinois Chicago uh, out of the horizon, and obviously uh, that's still staying in Chicago. So how does the competition, which certainly will be even better, change your thought process here at Illinois State? Well, it enhances the job, in my opinion, because we're, you know, you're losing Loyola, but you're adding two 
high caliber programs that are perennial winners. Um, and they're in different markets as well. Um, you're talking about going to Nashville and then adding Murray State from Kentucky. Um, it, it, it enhances what is already a really attractive league. And that's, that's, that is a good thing. I see that as being a, a, a real positive. And um, we want uh, high level basketball. I, wa I, wa I want all of our, our level of, of play and you know, recruiting and commitment to facilities. And uh, it, you know, if you're in a conference, you want all that to increase at a high level because it, it ups the ante for your, your conference. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited. I realized uh, how good and how well coached uh, this league is. Like we have ultimate respect coming in the door ultimate respect for the teams in this league, ultimate respect. It is going to be a real challenge for us as we build this thing. But um, I know this, uh, I'm at Illinois State and I'm really happy about that. And I, I'm really excited about being here. All right, Ryan, last thing. Um, you're going to have to do a good job of compartmentalizing here because uh, yeah. assistant at Ohio State, Big Ten tournament, obviously NCAA tournament, you'd like it to go for you know, a few weeks. Um, how do you balance, you know, what you need to do for Chris Holtman and that staff and those players, and now your new job of taking over Illinois State? Well, the, the reality is I need to do the best job I possibly can with two jobs. And I was asked that question, as you'd imagine, a lot today. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know how to answer that other than by just being real and telling you that, um, Andy, I've never been in this situation before. Very few coaches have. The best thing I can do is be the best at both roles. Um, there will obviously be some imbalance at times, um, you know, that's non-traditional, but um, pouring my heart into game planning and, and preparing for our, our opponents here as we head into the Big Ten tournament. But at the same time, um, you know, thinking through the lens of building our program, getting to know our players, hiring a staff, um, you know, I'm sleeping at about a two or three hour rate right now. And I think it's safe to say it'll probably be that way for a while, but it's an exciting time, you know, for our family. And, and uh, I'm prepared to do a, a great job in, in both of those roles. And, and uh, but it's, it's a very, it's a valid question. Well, and obviously we know there's at least an end date. Uh, it wouldn't go beyond April. So uh, that would be the best case scenario, obviously. Right. <laughs> Ohio State can get to New Orleans. Uh, Ryan, appreciate it. Congratulations. Uh, certainly another great mind and, and person and coach coming into the Missouri Valley. Appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Andy.